plunger down, down in your insides, really trying to get a sense of the breath going down to the kidney line level, your awareness going down to the kidney line level, and down to that really bottom layer of your pelvis from your bikini line to your underneath. Can you feel your seat bones, Joe? Is that easy or hard for you? Easy? Yeah, so they're clear to you there. Yes, good. And, you know, maybe risk them being a little bit heavier down, as in, if your knee pushed up against the resistance, you'd leave your butt down. That's right. That's right. That's right. And how much have you struggled with foot light and the work you've done with Elaine over the last couple of years? Um, has foot light been a really big deal? No. No, that's been a pretty easy deal. And has popping up been a big deal? Popping up. Popping up. Off the saddle. Yeah. No. Okay. Let's just get a couple of contrast here. Really pop up as much as you can. Tighten the muscles between your seat bones and your butt pop up. Okay. Let go. Think of your seat bones dropping down and almost you levering down if you're not yourself. Okay. Okay. Oh. Thighs there. Thighs there. Thighs there. Thighs there. Thighs there. Thighs there. Good girl. Sorry. Good. Good. Okay, now walk. Does she telling you something about this? What's she telling you, do you reckon? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Domino. First domino to fall. I find that when I start thinking about it, you know, 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how's it doing right now? That's it. Think off the push from there, channel down the corridor to push his head and neck away. Think of almost like you push your knee up against the resistance, so that's it, to leave your bum down. Knee up front, tendons up, knee them down. Don't be scared of almost pushing down. And I hardly ever say that. Right, but it's appropriate for you. Okay? And if you know what I mean by this, resist the push, resist my push on your collarbone. Yeah. yeah. So advance your collarbone a little bit, think resist my push. Good, 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 good. And you're pretty good on foot light, you need to keep foot light here. But as you go to trot, um, Joe, see how much you can land, almost think you're coming down on him in a very plunge down. Think of Think of low down in your pelvis, think of the weight being there, wrist thinking of squashing him a little bit. Right? Lightly bring, you lever your bum down by as if you lift your knee. Yeah? Which is different to actually lift your knee, but it's an as if. Alright, guys, when you're ready to take trot, do. And it's like you've, come on here, you've got to be able to get your awareness and your brain and your power really down to. To this level. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to think your way down to this level. Your cervix by sex, the line here to here, and the line here to here. There's your midpoint. You could by sex that line. Or rather, where that line crosses this line, yeah, yeah, is your center point. It's pretty much where the cervix is. Unfortunately, no center So think of from there, the push that goes against the wall and goes out to the But you've got to really try and get yourself to that low down in the Okay. And you know what? You're you're making a good difference doing this. So the breath's got to go down to you. You've got to think of them. And you've almost got to think. Do you know front tendons up? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So push your knee up against my hand, which helps you go front tendon up. Okay. As you go front tendon up, I always want you to think of your butt coming down. You look like he could ping you off the top of him very easily. Obviously, you two have got a history. And, <laughs> it, you know, maybe he has pinged you off the top of him very easily. But you look almost ready to be ejected, ready okay. to be picked off. You've got to think of almost, if this would push up, it could help you lever your bum down. down. Okay? So within your insides, the plunger is giving you a lower centre of gravity and really trying to get you down here. But you're almost going to lift your knee up to lever your butt down. Yeah. Okay. Right? So I might be saying to you almost be heavier. Think of levering down and squashing. You don't say that very often. Okay. Right? So as you start off in walk, really almost feel kind of pushing you down. To, as if you lift your knee to press your bum down on you. You're going to plunge it down, weight down, almost think lever down and press it. Right? And walk on with that idea. Sorry? Doesn't get massive, 
Yeah, okay. You're dealing with it well. You're hanging in there well. Um, and now you've trotted, actually, you, you look more organized here. When you breathe in now, how far down does the breath go? Yeah. And you've got to see if you can think it down lower still. Because the, the chemistry flask bowl is really down here. Yeah? And you want to think of it getting to down there. And the push down the plunger suggestion, which you hadn't heard before. Um, do you know those cafetiere coffee makers? Yeah. Yeah? So if your torso's like the jug, and there was a plunger inside you, our aim is to get the sense of like pushing the plunger down in your insides, right? So if you think of that with a coffee jug, when you've done that, the coffee jug is heavier, but all the coffee grounds are concentrated down at the bottom. It has a lower sense of gravity, right? And it's kind of like, as you push down the plunger in yourself, you're thinking of your weight, your awareness, your energy, your attention, your breath. Getting that bit lower down. And you can think of each in-breath kind of drawing the plunger down a bit, and on each out-breath just holding it down. Right? And you're trying to think of just breathing your way down to push the plunger down in your insides. We're trying to get your plunger down to bikini line level. Right, and you look like you're on the right track, actually, yeah? And so pushing down the plunger, every in-breath kind of draws it down. You're trying to keep it down on every out-breath. You're trying to get the plunger down to bikini line level and your energy, your strength, your awareness very much in that low part of your pelvis. Okay, Janice, resist my push again. About that, it. And in walk, you need to go a little more. You know, in walk, she looks a lazy horse. Then you trot and the rug goes out from under your feet. Okay? You've got to make the walk go more. And when she goes to trot, it's a mixture of you on the rug and the rug under you, right? And we'll have more to say about that later. So she kind of does a personality change between walk and trot. Yeah? yeah. And you've got to be really aware of walk needs to go more. You've got to resist my push, but be there on the balance point. Trot needs to slow. It needs pauses. Yeah? yeah? It needs you on the rug, the rug under you. A big thrust that helps you match her. Because she changes her tactics big time. And maybe I'm seeing this as an extreme because first trot, new place, you know? Yeah. She's not in her comfort zone. Although she looks incredibly chilled about being here and you've got her attention in such a good way. <laughs> Alright? So um, you're gonna take trot again, Joe. Really try and keep your plunger down. Even though you go up as you rise. Your plunge's got to go down inside you as you go up, right? So it's breathe down, shrink down, plunge it down, energy, attention, awareness, stay down. Okay, and Janice, you take trot two when you're ready. Breathe down, shrink down, bear down, low down. When you can, joke, uh, that's it, you beat me to it, good job. Yeah. Just keep thinking of down. That's it. And as you think of down and you breathe down and you plunge it down, think of your bikini line level. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna get personal. Think of your cervix. It's your midpoint. Halfway back inside you, down that low. Think of the push of bear down, the push that you channel down the head, that down to push his head and neck away from you. Think of that push beginning from your cervix. Going from your cervix to your bikini line, down the corridor made by the arm and the rain, push his head and neck away. Try to understand. Right, if you can get your plunger really down, you can think about that low down inside yourself. Well, that's where your cervix is. The push from your center pushes to your bikini line. That push is channeled down the corridor made by the arms and the reins. It pushes the head and neck away. Okay, and you're doing a good job, Joe. Okay, and Janice, you're doing a pretty good job here too. Yeah, and keep doing the heavy breathing, Janice, that's fine. 
Landing light. Good. Good. Okay, Janice, I'm going to get you to come and hold so I can climb on the block. Joe, hang in in trot while you want to be in trot. Walk when you want to walk. Rest when the pair of you need to rest. But keep trying to think of the really low down, deep down inside you. Okay, well done. You are getting way closer. Okay. Take some of the top of rice balance then. Okay, you can do this. Damn it, you can. Well, you need this to put is a it good. You need open. to put front angle. Right? Right, okay. We've got to try and get you up to take your hands away. Let's <laughs> We've got to try and get you up to here. Right, you're up there in a good way. Your thigh's pretty much vertical. Right, just find ah, right. more in that. Okay, so let's take you up there again. Take you on the balance. Yeah? Whoops. 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 Come back, horse. Sorry. Okay, so let's go to the top of the rise here. <laughs> That's it. Whoops. Yeah, well, if I try to take my feet. Okay. Really trying to think of the weight going down through your thigh back. Can you stay fine, let go of your bum? Yeah. <laughs> Just. Just. <laughs> Put like too much weight in your foot. You've got to yeah. try and lighten this. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you've really got to try and open this angle. When you're in trot, you've really got to try uh, and open yeah. this angle. Yeah. We've really got to get your foot back, your foot light enough, and control how you come down. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I can feel it's. It, you know. I can feel I'm not coming down. Yes. Yeah, I know. So, it, I it, just... But I think you're not going to control the down until you get the up. Right, okay. Right? So you have to get up to be a balance point before you can control down. Go down. Go up again. That's it. Really keep the area between your thighs. Really, almost like if this is her and this is you. you a close peg. Right, you've got to kind of close peg it or you'll crash land onto your pubic bone. Yeah. Stay up. Stay up. Be a close peg. Oh, crikey. Yeah? So your thigh's got to be so narrow here to hold you. Come back and up. This is the hard bit, right? So just sit again. So we've lost the stirrup on the ball of your foot. We've got to lighten the weight into your feet. Yeah. Okay. Right? And, and then I've got, got to get up. Really try and get you up there. And your thighs have got to hold you. It is somewhat like close peg-like. Peg like an old-fashioned cord. Yes. Peg. And go to the top of the rise again. So once you're up there, you've got two thirds of your thigh in contact. See so yeah. if you can really get up oh, here. God. That's it. So how about the stirrup bar down? Your thigh is in contact, oh, right? Yeah. And it's got to really try and hold. Yeah. Yeah. I can feel that there's an enormous amount of strength having okay. to put in there. All right. Which I so got. fist on the pommel to slide in the opposite yeah. thigh. Yeah. You find it better on the neck than on the saddle. Oh. It could be whatever yeah. works. Right? So, basically, really trying to get a free of tension kind of thing. Yeah. yeah? But, there is a huge difference. I mean, you are way closer to riding this horse. And I want you to start off really trying to do this. Foot light. Waiting your thigh. Thigh snug. Imagine me pushing on your butt and pulling on the zip of your britches. Yeah. And as a baseline, with this my foot. Really keep thinking of this passage. Right, okay. Okay? All right, you, you walk on and head whichever direction. Joe, come on over here a minute. My back corner's down. Yes. Um, everything. Um, I think I'm going to leave it because you're sitting down. Yeah, um, okay. Right now, you look as though you could use thinking because this might push a little bit more. As in, next, when I do stop you, I will put my fingers on here and give you a resistance. So you need to advance your collarbone and really think of pushing that in. So now you're vertical. Yeah. As Denise once said, would the person who keeps moving vertical please just leave it in the same place so I know where it is? Yeah. Well, yeah. I should be able to recognize that because it doesn't feel like that. Yeah, so, so, you know, you can take a trip up by the mirror at some point if you need to, to just look at this and compare what you're seeing with what you're feeling. Yeah. So I bet this feels like leaning forward, yeah. but right now you look a pretty good spot on shoulder, hip, heel. Right. Okay. okay. And, um, I'm tired. Joe, um, when you breathe in, how about down as the breath goes? Um, okay. And... 
if you could get the breast to go more down, it would be good. So I don't know if Elaine has said it to you this way, but you think of a chemistry flask shape inside you, yeah? So long neck, round bowl, down in your pelvis. We're trying to get the air to go all the way down the long neck and into the round bowl. You could think of a pair of bellows in the bottom of the round bowl, suctioning the air in. And you could think of um, um, as the air comes into the round bowl, you know, that long neck is as if your windpipe was longer than it really is. And your windpipe went all the way down to the round bowl. And think of feeling the coldness of the air as it passes down the front of your windpipe. Okay, see, you can keep breathing down. If you can walk on a bit more, that would be good. But really breathe down. Breathe down, bear down, low down. Okay, Janice, so you look like you're in a pretty good place in terms of still resisting my push. That's it. Okay, so, um, are you okay to join us to try here? Yeah. All right, so we put both of you on into trot. Let's see you a little bit trot rising. Yeah, now he trots, he looks a little bit more his age. <laughs> but you look like you're staying chilled up there. Okay, and if it takes him a little while to just warm up and rev into it, Joe, take the time it takes, yeah? Yeah. That's it. But as you're here in the keep breathing down. Breathing down, shrinking down. You probably know the phrase plunger down, do you? No? no? Okay. We'll save that one for later. But shrinking down, breathing down. That's it. And foot light. Good. Okay, Janice. Good job. Well done, you. Land really light, Janice. Yeah? Can you land really light? Feel yourself land, feel your underneath come down. Really try and control the down and land as light as you can. And a little bit speedy here is sort of pulling the rug a little bit out from under your feet. Yeah? Can you think a big thrust to match her? That's it. And you're trying to keep the rug underneath you as well as you on the rug. Okay, rug under you. You on the rug, big thrust, land light. And I think this is probably how she deflates underneath you, that as she pulls the rug, she just kind of hollows that little bit. And you're dealing with this okay, you're dealing with it pretty well. Keep hanging in there, landing light. You over the rug, the rug under you. And thinking about getting to the top of the rise. Just hanging in there, Joe. All right. Okay. Both of you walk. Let me just see you on the other range. Looks like you got a red dot. And that it's struggling. <laughs>